Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on the JB and Millie channel. I am JB and today we're going to be showing off our entire Scooby-Doo DVD collection. So this is going to feature all of the ones, all of the DVDs that we have on this shelf. Some of them aren't strictly Scooby, but they're going to be along the Hanna-Barbera line. So this is a video solely focusing on the DVD. So if you do want to see stuff like merchandise that will be linked in the description, or even a VHS collection, that's something that we'd be definitely up for right now. So if you do want to see that, then please comment down below. We have also done over 55 Scooby-Doo interviews of people that have worked on all of the amazing movies and shows that you see in front of you today. Please make sure to go into the description to find the playlist of those 55 interviews and they're going to keep growing every week. But without further ado, let's get into the collection. Okay, so to kick us off, we have volume one of Hanna-Barbera Wacky Races. We have volume one of Scooby's All-Star Laugh Olympics, which is absolutely amazing. We have so much nostalgia for this series. And now we have 50 cartoon collections for Scooby-Doo released for the 50th anniversary. Such an amazing group here. We have Scooby's Greatest Mysteries, and then we have Scooby Dressed Like Sherlock Holmes. Ooh, the Diamond Collection for Hanna-Barbera, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? The complete first and second seasons. We have reviewed all of those episodes. If you do want to see that, please check the channel. And we are in the process of reviewing all of these, the almost complete collection of the new Scooby-Doo movies. We have Scooby-Doo meets Batman. I think this features two of the episodes from the new Scooby-Doo movies. We have Scooby-Doo, the spooky games. It's kind of cameos from Fred Flintstone, Yogi Bear, and the rest of the gang. Now moving on to the 13 spooky tales, we have Surf's Up Scooby-Doo. And we have For the Love of Snack. For the Love of Snack. And kind of a trending one move for this, like around the world, considering we are in the UK, maybe these editions will be a bit different for the viewers in the US watching this. Ooh, very, very cool series. This is the only DVD really that we have left from our childhood, but it's the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. Moving on to the What's New Era. Space Ape at the Cape. So far, he's so goody. Oh, sorry about that. Lights, camera, mayhem. Mummy scares best. Recipe for disaster. Ready to scare. E scream. Fright house of a lighthouse. Gentlemen, start your monsters. Scooby-Doo and the snow creatures. And another one that we couldn't fit into the kind of shelving order is Sco Shaggy and Scooby-Doo Get a Clue Volume 1. And now moving on to the other series, we have Mystery Incorporated, the promo. We have Season 1, Part 2, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. There wasn't space for it on the shelf, but we do have Season 1, Volume 3 here. We have Be Cool Scooby-Doo, but we're waiting. We do have another volume of this, but we're waiting to get that back. The Boo Brothers. Now, this shouldn't be here. This is not the correct place for the Boo Brothers. However, we do have Scooby-Doo and Guess Who Season 1. Now, there have been some people commenting, asking when we're going to showcase Season 2. That isn't out in the UK yet, so... Bit of a shame, it might be a while, but we will definitely showcase it when we get it. And here is the kind of original design of the Boo Brothers movie. Okay, now coming up we have the Ghoul School. These are kind of the ugly re-releases. Like, the art is good, but the backgrounds are just kind of plain, they're a bit bland. Yeah, this looks a lot nicer. Here we have Reluctant Werewolf, the snap case, if you can get it out. Really cool, I remember watching it in this format. 
we have the Reluctant Werewolf re-release, Arabian Nights, a fan favourite, Zombie Island, the re-release of the Alien Invaders, the kind of original Alien Invaders release, apart from the VHS, the snap case of the Cyberchase, an original Cyberchase. I'm sure that they must have done a re-release Cyberchase. But we don't have that. Legend of the Vampire Snapcase. And re-release Legend of the Vampire. And now moving on to the second shelf. We have the re-release of Scooby-Doo and the Loch Ness Monster. A sun-bleached version of Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico. We do have a kind of special version on the way. Perhaps you've seen it teased on another video. And I'll just leave that there. Aloha Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo and Where's My Mummy? Scooby-Doo, Pirates Ahoy! Chill out, Scooby-Doo! Scooby-Doo and the Goblin King. This looks like the re-release. Thing is, though, it doesn't have the slipcase, so I guess it's just missing. We have Scooby-Doo and the Samurai Sword. And then, going on throughout this, we have Scooby-Doo, abracadabra Do. One of my personal favourites is Scooby-Doo, Camp Scare. Kind of a summary one now, so maybe that kind of time's almost passed. Scooby-Doo, Legend of the Phantasaur. Interesting one, we have Scooby-Doo, Music of the Vampire. Big Top Scooby-Doo. I actually really like this one. And another one that I really like, it kind of speaks to the collector in me as well, especially with Daphne. We have Mask of the Blue Falcon. And that's a really fun one. Now here's one that Millie doesn't like, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but it's a fun time regardless. It's the mystery map. I wish that they would put these like puppets on sale, because they would have just been the cutest. Scooby-Doo Stage Fright. It's maybe our first newer release in that we got it with the slipcase on. Like it was new. Then again, I haven't seen this one without the slipcase. So, perhaps, perhaps it never came without one. We've got Frank and Creepy. We have Moon Monster Madness. The one that I do not like. The Kiss Movie. Ooh, an interesting one coming up. We have Haunted Hollywood. So there's very, uh, as you can see, there's like a variety of Scooby-Doo movies. I'm sure there's going to be a Scooby movie that's everyone's favourite at some point. We have Shaggy Showdown. Really cool. Surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. We have Blowout Beach Bash. Batman, The Brave and the Bold. Scooby-Doo. Interesting one. It is one of both mine and Millie's favourites. We have The Gourmet Ghost. The controversial one. The Curse of the 13th Ghost. Very controversial one. Oh, this was nearly our introduction back into Scooby. Return to Zombie Island. Happy Halloween, Scooby-Doo. Perfect for the season that we're about to enter. And then we have the sword and the scoob. In a lovely slipcase, because this is like the first one that we got new new. As opposed to second hand or, you know. It's always a struggle to put these back in. I have to like do cuts every day. We have a Scooby-Doo meets Courage the Cowardly Dog. And then we have, oh, this, a bit of a collection. It looks pirated, but the discs inside are telling me it isn't. So I really can't tell of this one. It's a bit of a curiosity. We have this, which I love. Aloha Scooby-Doo, Monster of Mexico, Pirates Ahoy in our summer collection. We have these awesome ones samurai sword goblin king and chill out kind of a 3d cover there 
And we have another one, kind of Christmas themed. Winter Wonder Dog, Chill Out Scooby Doo, and What's New Scooby Doo. Now next up, we've kind of got repeats of the last ones, but they're not really repeats, but they have the same kind of contents in, as you can see. Chill Out, What's New, Winter Wonder Dog. And that's going to stay consistent throughout this one as well. We've got Winter Wonder Dog, Chill Out, and What's New. But it's nearly festive season, and I don't think you can get as festive as some of those episodes, right? We have Scoob. We've got Dick Dastardly, the kids at the end. We have Scooby-Doo 2002, the new slipcase edition. And then we have the kind of original Scooby-Doo 2002. This is like my favourite one. And last but not least, we have the Scooby-Doo 2002 Snapcase. case. We have a bit of a dodgy version of Scooby-Doo 2002. I'm sure that's fake. In fact, that is fake. But we kind of thought it might have been the Gosnell cut, stupidly enough. Kind of lost me. Here we have 2004, the 2000 kind of Monsters Unleashed movie. We have Scooby-Doo The Mystery Begins. And now we get to Scooby-Doo, Curse of the Lake Monster, and the Daphne and Velma movie. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up our collection video. So you might have noticed from that we kind of experimented with the side views for the top shelf, the more kind of on views for the bottom shelf. And again with that one, I don't know what type that everyone prefers. We're going to be doing these quite regularly as we are going to need to buy more sets, buy more DVDs of both Scooby and Hanna-Barbera. So we hope that you enjoyed the kind of first update because this is more the pilot, seeing what angles you guys liked, what you disliked, didn't like. Like, let us know what you prefer. Would you like us to just go through the shelves and pick them out? Do you want like showcases of them all? It's all good, really. Like, we don't mind. This is more like the testing ground because we've never really done just a DVD update or just a DVD collection before. But it is definitely going to grow. So, yeah, if you do want to see more of this, then please like, comment and subscribe. And kind of check out all the interviews that we've done with people that have worked on these movies and series in the description down below.